how I streamline my entire business and client management through HoneyBooks. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and I'm a professional photographer and videographer based in Maui, Hawaii. For the best advice on how to build your new photography business, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every week when I make a new video. So let's get right into it. Last week I went over HoneyBook and exactly how I use it to generate leads and how I streamline my entire business and client management through HoneyBooks. It's incredible. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check it out before you watch this video. Today we're going to go over exactly how to take your inquiry form that's custom to your business and put it on your Wix website. So let's head over to my computer. This is my contract form and I've set this up to be exactly how I like it. All the questions I need to know from my inquiring clients. So all I do is, you know, you can come in here and edit things like, you know, if you don't want it to say email address, you can just start typing other things. Basically, I'm going to press publish. Once I'm done, make sure you publish a new form. It's new features. Okay, so they just updated their new inquiry form and you can add like pictures and all these fun things. I'm not going to do that right now, but basically I'm going to copy the code and I'm going to go to my Wix website and I'm going to go to contact and photography sessions because this inquiry form is specifically for my sessions. So if I I'm going to take this off just for demonstration purposes. So I'll come right here and I'm going to press this add button. And if you go all the way down to more, you can add in HTML frame, which just means that you can write your own code. So press enter code, command V to paste, apply. And there it is. So now you can see it's super small. So I'm going to widen this out and stretch it down. And <laughs> keep stretching all the way until I can see that send button. And now that this is done, I'm realizing that I actually don't really like how the send button looks. So let's go back over here. This is really fair on my website. So if I want to come in here, sorry, not there. Settings, design, colors. I want this pink button color to be a lot brighter and I actually don't really use pink so much anymore. I'm using this like mustard yellow puke green kind of combination button, which I personally really love. So. <laughs> Let's change that. There. That looks so much better. So I'm going to press publish. Um, and notice up here it says to update your contact form, click public. Pu <laughs> click publish changes. So I'm going to publish the changes. And if I press save, publish now, I wonder if it's going to change it automatically for me. Let's look. MariaPhil.com. Ah! Okay, so contact photography sessions. Oh, and it changed it for me. And I'm realizing right now it looks fair and a little bit too light because none of the required fields are are filled out. So when when we fill them out, I'm assuming that it's going to 
turn that button a little bit darker. So that's great to know. I didn't really know that you could update this and just publish the changes. You don't actually have to change the code in your website every time. So later on, I'm gonna go back and put a couple of those new features that HoneyBooks just rolled out into my new contact form. But until then, I'm gonna leave it the way that it is because it works right now. Um, if you guys have any questions at all on how I did this, how to sign up for HoneyBooks, how to make a brochure, leave your comments below. I'm more than willing to help, um, but I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I know I use Wix. A lot of people use Squarespace or WordPress, and this will work with any of those. It's just a matter of knowing how to write the code on your website. And Wix is a platform that's a little bit more um, streamlined so that you don't ha necessarily have to know how to write code. Um, which is why it took me a little while to figure this out, but now that I know it, it's so simple. So if you guys found this video helpful, I'd love it if you left a comment below saying helpful and like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much, you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.